morning, it's James from Neve here, here at Music Mesa 2017. And just a quick rundown of what we've brought to the show. This is uh, uh, something very special. This is a reintroduction of the BCM-10. So this is the BCM-10 Mark II, which is a painstaking reissue of the original BCM-10 console that came out in late 60s, early 70s. So absolute classic Class A console with 1073 preamps, a new routing module that we developed, trying to keep it as close to the original as possible, but adding a few useful features, like making the cue stereo instead of mono, so it gives you a second mix bus, a simple input, so it's not an inline console, but it's, it's kind of, you can get two inputs into each channel, and then meters on the faders, and a few extra tricks in the monitoring section, and then two 500 series slots at the end, so you can put a nice uh, compressor in there. As you can see, we've chosen a Neve one, but you could put whatever you like in there. Other things we've got is a, an outboard rack showing our lunch boxes, the summing mixer, and the more recent product, which is this 1073 DPX, which is a stereo, uh, stereo module that also has some useful things like a headphone amplifier in, and an insert, and a DI for uh, guitars, whatever, and um, front jack, so that it's very convenient to get up to it and it uh, could be useful for location recording, something like that. Also there's a 4081, um, which we're showing that it's controlled by the console over to the right here, which is the Genesis Black. So uh, uh, as a quick demo, I should be able to turn a control, uh, and if, uh, depending on how fast you can move this iPad, oh no, I'm in the middle of something else, but this is controlling the 4081 there, so you can use this um, this is showing the channels on the console here, and so I'm, I'm now bypassing the front panel and controlling it from the console, so it's very useful to keep uh, uh, the preamps on stage and keep the cable lengths down. And then finally, this is an, ad an analog console, but digitally controlled. This is the Genesis Black, and uh, so this is kind of a hybrid, so it's a, a DAW controller in the middle with faders, a touch screen, keyboard and mouse, and then an analog console to the left with the Neve preamps, dynamics and EQ. But uh, like I say, the thing about that is that it, though it looks like a digital console, the signal path's all analog, but it means that you can load and save snapshots and recall templates and uh, work very quickly, which is what we all want to do nowadays. So that's a little rundown of what we've got at the uh, stand and hopefully you get a chance to have a look. Is that okay?